Hey guys, Kai here with The Path of Life, coming at you with another video. It is July 1st, which means that officially here in Southern Utah, we can light off fireworks for the next like 10 days or so because of the birthday of this great nation in which we live in, we can blow crap up. So I thought it'd be fun to do a little tutorial on a DIY project for you guys to be able to maximize your firework show punch so to speak speaking of out here in the southern utah area let's see if i can get you a look at this you see that off over there yep that right there that is not a cloud that is in case anybody else in the country doesn't know that is the largest wildfire burning in the uh u.s presently um, that fire is up in the Bryan Head area here in southern Utah. Uh, and it's been burning for about two weeks now. It's crazy. It's up over 50,000 acres. It's just massive. Something like 1,400 people fighting that fire right now. So the goal here is to have some fun with some fireworks and not start one of those okay so basically what this video is about have you ever gone to the fireworks store and you see these big old boxes of mortars and you know the big shells that blow up in the sky and give you the, the cool rainbow effects and all that stuff we well, see those at the fireworks store and you say oh that'd be awesome right and then you have an experience like this <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh, that's it? Piece of crap. So basically that just sucks. So what I'm going to show you guys how to do is link multiple mortar tubes together, uh, attach those wicks together so that you can get a more dynamic little show out of your mortars instead of light one, run, boom repeat we'll add a couple of roman candles in there for some dramatic effect and it should be a great time so basically the goal here is to just use what is in the fireworks kits as well as maybe a few zip ties or some tie wire or something like that no extra fuse buying required uh, i've seen a lot of videos where people create their own little fireworks shows and they've bought all of this extra fuse to time it all out and everything I'm, I don't want to be buying fuses. I don't want to be accused of doing something crazy. So I am going to just use what's in the kits. That's the goal. We'll see how it goes. Let's get right into it. All right, so this is what I got. I have eight of these fiberglass mortar tubes that came with these mortars. Um, this is one of eight sets of these mortars that it came with. Uh, and then I also got these mortars, I got some Roman candles, and basically the goal is just to string them all together. Now what I've seen a lot of times is that people will take all of these, they'll get them up next to each other like so, they will load all the mortars in, and when you load the mortars in there's these long wicks on them. So you put the mortar down in the tube, the wick comes out the top, and uh, and then what I've seen is people taking an extra wick that they purchase and running it along the top, connecting in all of the other mortar tubes. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I am not the biggest fan of going out and purchasing a roll of wick just to, just to make a firework show out of this thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so instead, what I'm going to do is drill a hole in the bottom of these tubes that I can feed a piece of wire up, attach the wick to it, pull the wick through the hole, placing the mortar in the bottom with the wick sticking out the bottom. And then I can take that wick and I can attach it to any of the other wicks. I can set up a sequence of them. I can tie them into some Roman candles. And the goal is just to make one sweet show gonna be short it's only eight mortar tubes but a lot better than lighting each mortar tube individually and then blowing it off all right now step number one is figuring out what size drill bit I want to be using 
the two main mortars that I'm going to be using here are these ones, these little guys, which this will be more than an adequate size drill bit for, and I will also be using these guys. which again, adequate size here from the drill bit on the mortar. Okay, now in the bottom of this mortar tube, there's a big plug in there. So we wanna make sure that we are on top of that plug. So if you can look through here, you can kinda of see that about from here down is a different color. So, we are going to drill our hole right above that. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so now I have just some, uh, whatever this is called, topiary wire, something like that. And I'm gonna feed this up through the mortar tube and out the top. It is. Okay. Now, one of the things that I'm going to have to do is these guys are designed so that they have this little uh, tether on the top so that when you put them down into the mortar tube, they don't get flipped over or turned around or anything like that. So, what I'm going to have to do is pull the wick back through that. Otherwise, my wick is going to be running up and then back down, taking up valuable wick. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wire and I'm going to wrap it around the wick, the end of the wick, so that hopefully when I pull this wire back through, I can pull the wick through with it. There we go. And there's the wick coming through the bottom and the mortar getting loaded into the top. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of flip this on its side so that as I pull the wick through, it loads the mortar in like that. Okay, so now this wick comes out the bottom and we have about 10 inches of wick to work with on this one. Okay, now something that I wanna do to make sure that I'm not like messing up any kind of like pressure or anything like that that's gonna be formulated in here. I don't think this little hole is gonna do that much. But just to make sure that we're not doing anything majorly detrimental to the, uh, the firework tube at all by drilling this hole in the bottom, I'm gonna launch off this one by itself right now. Well, I think it works. <laughs> okay, so now we know that there's nothing super major that is done to the basic ballistics, I guess you can say, of these mortar tubes by drilling holes in the bottom of them. I mean, there was definitely a little bit of backflow that came through there, but ultimately I don't think that it is enough to, uh, to prevent us moving forward with this method here. Okay, so now here we have eight mortar tubes 
that all have the wicks coming out the bottom of them and uh, we can see that they are all faced the right direction loaded properly and so now it's all a matter of just linking them together in sequences so you know say we wanted this one to go off and then the next one we wanted to go off after that would be this one and so then we can link these together at the wicks right here just by wrapping a little bit of this wire around it and if we wanted the most time possible in between then we would attach the end here all the way up by the hole to give us all of that extra wick and if we wanted it to go off pretty quick after then we could attach it right here and then we have all this extra wick right here that we can actually uh, cut off so once we we would attach this together and then we could cut this off and we could use that wick to attach some Roman candles uh, a little bit later on in the sequence now it's just about getting it all wired up together um, and figuring out how I want to have the uh, the Roman candles attached into this system as soon as I figure that all out We'll get back to you. Okay, so here is our mortar setup. Uh, so we start right here. These two mortars are tied together. They should go pretty much simul simultaneously. And then it comes up here to ignite the Roman candles and this mortar. Next will be this mortar, then this mortar, pretty slow succession. And then pretty much simultaneously, these three will go off. So that's at least the plan. We'll see if it goes according to that plan here shortly. <laughs> here we go. Okay, so there you have it, a little fireworks show. Um, I am really glad that I did this. Today is July 1st, so I have a couple of days until the 4th. Um, I have a few more mortar tubes that I'm going to be including in the final show that I guess I want to put on on the 4th of July. And yeah, there's definitely some timing things that I have figured out from this little test. And uh, yeah, like, for example, the um, the Roman candles, the little whistly guys. Uh, doing this again, I will have them lit from the very beginning so that they're going off simultaneously with the mortars. Um, I will also be spacing the timing out on the mortars much more instead of trying to have them f flow through uh, as quickly as possible. Um, the wicks on those mortars, although they're long, they go extremely quickly. So, um, yeah, just some things that I'm learning, but um, hopefully this video, uh, little tutorial, I suppose, little experiment for myself to try to make your own little firework show at home was useful. And you can take the information that you found in this video, you can tweak it, you can make it your own, you can experiment with how to improve upon this, uh, this method of creating a little firework show using some mortar shells instead of just the one and done and then have to keep lighting and loading and lighting and loading those those mortars up every single time. I had a lot of fun doing this little project and uh, hopefully you guys found it to be fun and entertaining as well. So until next time, take care of yourselves everybody. Make it a great day. Peace out.